When these sides met in Drada earlier in the season, the visitors secured a comfortable 3-0 win and they were hoping for more of the same on Friday. John Kenny is your reporter. Sligo hadn't lost to Drogheda this season, winning all three previous league games, and they're ahead after just two minutes as Aaron Green scored left-footed past Stephen Trimble in the Drogheda goal. Joseph Indo's corner almost created a second for Sligo. Moments later, Gavin Pearce powering a header narrowly wide. Sligo, dominant for most of the 90 minutes, got their second goal in 28, as Matthew Blinkhorn picked up a ball outside the United penalty area, worked the ball through to Green as Robbie Gall couldn't get it out from under his feet, and Green scored via the post. Strada hadn't scored in the three previous meetings between the sides. The nearest they came in the first half was this effort by Shane Fitzgerald. Sligo, two over the break, were completely in control despite missing leading goal scorer Owen Doyle through injury. Richie Ryan with his shot saved by Trimble. Sligo looked sharp in front of the Drogheda goal, whose defence gifted this chance for Endo. 1 2 with Rafael Cataro before Endo had time to pick a spot. But he was denied by the outstretched arms of Trimble in the Drogheda goal. Do indeed was involved in most of Sligo's build-up play and it helped to fashion the third eight minutes from time. The ball broke to Kataro, who showed some deft footwork in the area before picking out John Russell, who flicked the ball past Trimble for 3-0. The Sligo supporters were singing jingle bells before the end, happy with the gift of a win, and there could have been more for the visitors before the end. Russell was the first to try as a shot was saved by Trimble. And Doe unselfishly then set up Russell again, but a shot was cleared off the line. Drogheda defenders just couldn't get the ball clear and were relieved when the ball was eventually blazed over the bar by substitute Connor Powell. Sligo thought they had a fourth before the end as Joseph and Doe beautifully set up Kutaro, who put the ball to the net. But referee Podrick Sutton deemed that he'd handled before shooting. Kutaro then blesses himself before he's booked for the handball. Not even divine intervention could stop him getting into the referee's notebook. Before the final whistle, Drogheda were reduced to ten men. We've highlighted Mark O'Brien and Aaron Green. Green pushes O'Brien over, he gets back to his feet and reacts. When the play eventually stops, referee Sutton speaks to his fourth official about the incident involving O'Brien. And having already been booked, the Drogheda player got a second yellow and then a red. Well-merited 3-0 win for Sligo, a result which at the time sent them two points clear at the top of the table. Well, certainly, um, you know, the aim here was obviously to avoid relegation. I think hopefully we will, we will achieve that. Um, it's a very, very young side. We have a couple of experienced players, and I think the last couple of weeks, you know, against Derry, we probably should have got three points there. Uh, here against Shamrock Rovers, you got a late winner against. So it's a learning curve for a lot of the players. But as I said, they can give them more than they're given, and uh, obviously they, they played the best side in the country tonight. But they gave it their all. They don't feel pleasure. Do you know? I genuinely don't. To say to the players, I don't understand that word. Do you know? I think we we're, we're paid to be footballers and paid to be a manager. If people think that's pleasure, I can think of a million worse jobs than ours. You know, we come in, we train, we enjoy our training, we enjoy playing football and we do our best. Whether we win or lose, we shake hands and we move on.